Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to share today uh, a mini that I made over the week, and I've used this uh, chip mini book that you can get at Michaels at the dollar. I think it's a dollar fifty bin now. So if you can get your hands on this um, chipboard mini, then I can show you what I did with it. Um, as you can see on, on, on here, they have the the hole here and the binding part on this part of the teacup. But for some reason I liked it this way, so that's how you're going to see my mini. So here it is. So I decided to do a mini based on tea and you know that time of the day when you need to take a break so I did a mini based on all the different drinks you can um, take in a cup so to speak so here's the front cover and as you can see right here this one is um, the color theme and this cover is pink and green and the paper line that I use this um, in this mini were two. Um, they're from DCW. One was called Sweet Treats, and the other one is Kitchen. Give me one second here. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, here. I'll pull them out. The Sweet Stack. And. Nana's Kitchen. I don't know if you can still get these or not, but this is what I used in my teacup or cup mini. So on the front page, I'm using the one from the Sweet Stack. And I have an I Am Rose here. I have little roses here, and I have a spray that you can get from the Joanne Sprays for a dollar. And this you see here. I made it myself, and I'll, and I'll show you how I made it. Um, let's see, where is it? It's the a dollar fifty um, rub-ons you get at the at the the dollar fifty bins at Michaels. So what I did is I take a Manila cardstock, I colored it with my um, silver leaf um, crayon marker, and then I rubbed it on. And I made a fork and a spoon and a knife out of this roll-on. So you can make your own embellishments using the roll-ons. So that's what I use throughout the mini for the utensils. So that's what you will see here on the cover, the spoon. The title of the mini is called Delicious, and I have a little cup right there. This is part of the spray from Joanne's, a little raspberry. So this is raspberry tea. I used, I don't know if you can see, um, Stickles, uh, pink glam, and and then I used a little bit of sweet pea flock, and I put it on there to make it look like the particles of the tea are floating on top. And then I used some recollection bling. So that is the front cover, and this is raspberry tea. The next one, because uh, they're kind of bulky sorry, this blueberry tea, and this one I used from the kitchen, Nana's kitchen um, stack, and blue is the theme here, I have one of those Joann's um, spring, uh, how you call it, um, those twigs that they sell for two dollars, but I always wait for the, when they get off, 50% off, so only pay a dollar and I have tool around here and one of the Rick Collections um, cameos. So that's the blueberry tea. Then on the other side I have something more of a, like a pumpkin spice or orange tea or something like that. And again I use those um, floral, um, maybe I get one so you, see, you can see what I'm talking about. And it stands pretty cool too. Um, spring inspired um, they become according to season I buy these a lot because I use them as my embellishments for my minis and this is it 
and I have them in red and, and this is the one I used on this particular page so yeah you get a lot for a dollar and that's what I've used so they look like little oranges right here and they all like sugar coated and then I use some of the leaves and then this is that dollar fifty step you get at the the bin and Michaels the fork the fork the spoon and the, and the and the knife and the paper line from the Nana's kitchen no this is sweet treats so that's the orange this is you can't have you can't do a mini without a cup of coffee so I added a cup of coffee here and I use brown um, cardstock and then I use glossy accent, accents to make it you know like it's you know wet in there again the spoon um, these are cookies that I made out of um, paper clay and then I used the Tim Holtz distress inks I think it was antique linen and there you go and they say the best on the cookie and then I made my own little sugar pack what I did is that um, I take the clear plastic bag that this came in cut it out and filled it up with Martha Stewart's um, luster glass beads and it, I don't know why but it kind of reminds me of sugar so I made my own pack of sugar and I place it right here on the corner and I have a paper clay uh, shrub or angel I don't know if you can see that I put the lighting a little bit better here so you guys can see there it is so there's my cup of coffee Oh, the other side uh, we, green tea is the next one and as you can see the whole color theme here trying to fix the lighting here is um, green I use stickles and I use um, string that I got from these tags that you buy from staples and um, I just took the string off of this and I put it here to make it look like it's the you know the string of tea that you put in and the water and it says green tea and I have little recollection flower roses here and to tie in with the colors to the stress I used um, peeled paint distress ink and there's my green tea cup the next page I just did a, just a regular cup just a teacup, no particular flavor going on. Try to go back here again so the lighting won't be so overwhelming. I don't know if you can see. There, I think that's better. And I made another cookies, and it says cookie on it. Um, this is paper clay. I just flatten it out, roll it out, and I cut it with a special um, knife that I have here. They sell it at the paper clay. Uh, or the polymer clay section and it comes three knives um, special knives for cutting clay and <clears throat> this is the one I use so I cut and it made these ragged edges of the cookie and then I used um, a stamping set which I bought from a place called Harbor Harbor Freight Tools it's very common here in the state of California but if you could go any of those inexpensive tool places you'll find it um, there it is stamping set and what it is it's a metal um, stamping set so you can emboss metal aluminum foil all that stuff I don't know if you can see the letter there oh, the lighting is really bad here I'm sorry there it is this one says J so you take it and you hammer it in but since this is clay I just pushed it in and then I spelled out the word cookie so that's how I made that. I'm going to tie some ribbon and that's my cup of coffee there. My cup of, just a cup of there we're drinking for coffee for, with my cookies. Um, this is the next page. This is from the Sweet sweet Pack. DCW, um, with DCW um, paper line and I stamped this out with one of those stamps you can get 
from Joanne's, the dollar stamps. And this one, they have two ladies drinking tea, so I have that slip eye under there. And it goes perfectly well with the ribbon that has cupcakes and the background that has cupcakes. Now on this one, I'm going to see if you can see. Um, here's a handle for the, the teacup. And I have some flowers here and some leaves and a twig here. But what, you, what I'm trying to show you here is here I have a, a pin. And I have a Swarovski crystal here, and um, I made a little cupcake. And it's the topper for my pen. And you can see the strawberry and the little, the little sprinkles on the cupcake. This is made out of paper clay. These were left over from my Alice in Wonderland um, mini. So there's go my cupcake um, teacup. And then I'm to continue with the sweet treats. Sorry that this mini is going to make you hungry, but <laughs> I mean, you're usually eating something when with, a, with a cup of something. <laughs> and this one's again from the sweet treat stack from DCW. And as you can see, there's sun, you know, donuts and sundaes and, and ice cream and such. So on this one, you can see right there, I rub one of those. Um, rub-ons here of um, of a fork. Then I have one of these uh, plastic flowers you get at uh, Joann's. And I made and I added another cupcake right here and there's tool. This is a bottle cap and I made a cake. And I put it inside the bottle cap to make it look like it's inside a tin. A pie tin um, for cakes. So there goes that page. Really cute. And last but not least, I could not forget to do the cup of cocoa. So here's the cup of cocoa. Oh, I had fun this one. Um, the way I did with this one is that I used uh, one of those bottles of, um, and it's a Michaels. It's so you puff paint, I guess you can call it. And I just grabbed the brown one. And that's how I made it, make it look like chocolatey up there. And all this whipped cream and such, like right here, is this famous um, snow marker. Um, you take this and you just put it on there and you wait for it to dry. And then you use your heat gun and it puffs up, like so. And I could not forget to make the marshmallows. And the marshmallows are just um, paper clay that I mold out and I cut it in half and I just glue it on there to make it look like marshmallows floating on top of a hot cocoa. The glittery part is a brown glitter I got from the dollar bin at Michael's and the paper line is from the sweet treats. So there you go, your hot cup of cocoa. So yeah, you could, you, this mini really comes out really cool if you use, you know, really appropriate um, paper lines that go with anything with the drinking tea or you know food and w the only thing I did is that I trace on the bottom here and I cut out like this brown paper here and then I glued that on the bottom to make it look like it's an actual cup because if not then you just have it like this you know this is I just trace it on the paper and just cut it out and you just have it like that but to give the little illusion there's an actual cup on the saucer you need to trace on the bottom and to make the actual cup sit on the saucer and um that the whole paper right here is this I just cut the brown paper and then placed it on top to make it look like the cup so that's how I did that and um, here's an example without the saucer and that's the back so here's the front and this one has its saucer in pink so that's what you can do with the mini. Um, for a dollar fifty, you can make a real cool mini, really cute, and give it as a gift to anyone who's really into their coffee or their tea. Um, and hopefully, they give you some ideas on what to use with those dollar bin products that you get at Michaels. Um, thanks again for watching. See you later. Bye.